What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of the brand new Retina Display 15 inch MacBook Pro. My first video I ever did was actually an unboxing of an old, old generation MacBook Pro. So I have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for this guy. But sentimentality aside, it's got to perform to match its price. So let's go ahead, dig in, start putting this guy through its paces. All right, so here's the box, very familiar Apple packaging. Nowhere on this does it say Retina Display. Uh, you can just tell because it's a little bit of a thinner profile. MacBook Pro logo on the side and some Apple logos on the side as well. Um, all right, let's go ahead and open this up. This is a slightly upgraded version. Uh, it's got the i7 clocked at 2.7 gigahertz. It can go up to 3.7 with Turbo Boost. RAM has been doubled from 8 to 16, and it's got the 512 gigabytes of solid state storage. So we'll use the unboxing scissors of fury and try and cut this plastic without massacring this box too badly. And it looks like we got the plastic cut right there. So we'll peel this off and we'll see what we got inside. Uh, I have not seen one of these yet in person, so I'm kind of excited to take a look. And I'll run through all the specs of the computer and everything else that it has and what it can do uh, as we get to it. All right, so plastic is off. The box is completely naked and ready for your voyeuristic viewing pleasure. Let's go ahead and take off the lid. I kind of feel like after that intro, I should put some music. Be like, you're my cherry pie. Boom, there it is. So we've got some environmentally friendly top here. You don't have any foam anymore. Uh, just a little bit harder cardboard. And here is a computer. And coming from something like this, which is my previous laptop, an 11 inch MacBook Pro, this guy does look pretty, sorry, MacBook Air. This guy does look pretty big. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull off the tab. So coming from a MacBook Air, this is probably gonna feel a little bit heavy and big too. If you're coming from a MacBook Pro, it's probably gonna feel very light and thin. So we'll push it off to the side for just a quick second. And we'll see what else we're gonna get in the box. So we've got your charger with that new MagSafe 2.0 port. See so if you can see what the top of that looks like. That is MagSafe 2.0. You can get a 2.0 to, I guess, 1.0 uh, adapter if you have an older cinema display or Thunderbolt display to charge or any other accessories. Uh, designed by Apple in California, but manufactured in China. Hello. Apple stickers and a cleaning cloth. Pretty standard fare. All right, so enough of the accessories. That's not the exciting part. Let's take a look at this newfangled MacBook Pro with a retina display. So we'll turn it like this. And let me run through the specs here. So it's gonna start at $21.99. A higher model is gonna be $27.99 for more storage and faster processor. Uh, you're gonna get a free upgrade to Mountain Lion, though it's shipping with OS X Lion. Uh, from a dimension standpoint, it's 14.13 inches by 9.73 inches by a pretty surprisingly thin 0.71 inches. And it's gonna clock in at 4.46 pounds. So it's either gonna feel really light coming from an old 15 inch or a little bit heavy coming from a MacBook Air. Uh, the screen is 15.4 inches with a resolution of, <laughs> a crazy resolution of 2,880 by 1,800. Uh, that is 220 PPI. So we'll peel off the plastic here, ceremoniously. All right, so that has been peeled off. Let's take a look at the ports. So we've got MagSafe 2.0. We've got two Thunderbolts here for daisy chaining or plugging in what Apple is hoping is gonna be a ton of Thunderbolt peripherals. Uh, USB 3.0, 2.0 hybrid port. Microphone port on the left-hand side. Moving around to the right, we've got an SD card slot. HDMI, something that I never thought I'd see on an Apple product, and probably the biggest illustration of this no longer being the Steve Jobs era, uh, and a USB 3.0, 2.0 port as well. So bringing that total number of USB ports to a very small two. Uh, what you're not gonna see on here is any sort of optical disk drive. That is no more. Uh, so we've got, I believe we've got some air intakes here on the bottom air intakes there on the bottom. And I think up top, we should have some more air intakes hiding behind uh, the screen. So here's what it's gonna look like open. Let's go ahead and peel this off. Not gonna be able to tell much here about the, uh, the retina display, um, but we'll turn it on. We'll do that tour in just a moment. Uh, pretty standard looking uh, Apple MacBook Pro layout, speakers on the side, and you've got your multi-touch 
uh, trackpad here. Uh, so we've got a new upgraded FaceTime HD camera. Uh, graphics, it's a uh, dual graphics card. You get the Intel HD graphics 4000 and the NVIDIA GeForce GT65M with one gig of RAM. Um, all the adapters here that you would need, so Firewire, um, sorry, um, yeah, so Firewire or a Ethernet port are all gonna have to go through either USB or one of those Thunderbolt cords. Um, something to keep in mind. Um, all right, so let me do a real quick size comparison with the 11 inch MacBook Air. It looks like either a before and after picture or a uh, father and son shot. Uh, but there they are side by side. And let's go ahead and take a look at how they look stacked up to really see the uh, thinness uh, or fatness of the two. So if you go ahead and bring them up, uh, you can definitely see how thin the MacBook Pro is. Uh, it's about as thin as the MacBook Air's fattest point uh, without that wedge shape. So extremely thin computer. Um, certainly not a small machine, um, but definitely not a heavy one either. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what this newfangled retina display looks like. All right, so we've gone through the whole setup process and the new Retina Display MacBook Pro is ready to be used. Of course, the first thing I did was load up Techno Buffalo. And the screen looks nice. I mean, I'm not wowed, at least that initial impressions, by how crisp and clear the text look. It looks like nice, clean text. Uh, I liken it to looking at uh, a new iPad versus an iPad 2. Yes, the text looks better. Yes, the screen looks better. But it's nothing giant unless you're, you know, using uh, a new iPad. You never noticed that the iPad 2 screen wasn't good. Uh, and speaking of that, let me go ahead and bring in here, push this off to the side a little bit. Here is the 11 inch uh, MacBook Air and you can get a little sense at least of what the text looks like. And you can certainly see difference in resolution. So I've got same Techno Buffalo bar at the top on the 11 inch. Text really cuts off after the first article. Here it extends way below. Now you can see a picture of a internet troll and the text of that first article. So I'm gonna use this. I'll try iMovie and I'll try this in the native apps. I'll try video and I'll run it through a ton of tests to see how this guy performs. I will give you a full review when I feel that I've tested enough to do so. Uh, if there's something that you guys wanna see, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and impressions uh, on anything that you guys want to make sure it gets tested. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. This has been an unboxing and first look at the new 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display.